Automation for model risk management occurs in different contexts, yet two use cases exist where value can be uh, reached faster. The first use case um, is about model standardization. Uh, when the company can create a model implementation that they realize applies to various uh, situations or contexts, they can make some efficiency gain. For instance, a bank could develop a credit scoring model that they realize could be used in different of their subsidiaries, in possibly different of their countries. Each of these use cases will lead to the definition of a model instance that will be trained or calibrated on a given portion or section of the data. Still, all these instances that will exist across all use cases will definitely share some common expectation when it comes to their validation and monitoring, which means that once the first instance has been defined and a validation process has been coded for it, any subsequent instance will greatly benefit from it. The second use case is about monitoring, or as we define it sometimes, repeated validation. Indeed, regulation exists nowadays that require the company's bank more precisely in the financial sector, to repeat the validation at regular interval on a quarterly or yearly basis. Once it has been run a first time, the experiment shall be very easily rerunable for any new piece of data that appear in real world since the last run. Keeping track as precisely as possible of the experiment, the validation experiment is here key. To do so, one will have to ensure some key requirements are met. The first one is recognition, clear definition, storage and versioning of all the artifacts that enter into the validation process definition. There are five. The first one, the model and its metadata, the model that we want to validate. The second one is the business data, which is used to define the model data signature. The third and fourth one are related to the validation process itself and consist in the metadata that define this process, as well as the, the code itself that will define the various tests. And finally, we have the outcome of the validation process. The strong, the second strong requirement is to have clear lineage between all these objects and to have a clear definition again, storage and versioning of this relation that exists between these objects. If this can be ensured, not only will be any future rerun easier to make, but also any outcome that has already been produced in the platform will be reproducible. Finally, automation usually embeds the ability to automate the run of some tasks and pipelines in some semi-automatic way or pro programmatic way, in such a way that some back-end long-running process can execute these tasks instead of a user having to push on a button in a UI. This can be done by implementing specifically a service for this purpose on top of your preferred cron job. The service should be considered as some BI tooling at the same level of as a BPM and engine or dashboarding technology that would be built on top of a middle tier system that would ensure the artifact management and their lineage.